Sony has partnered with DICE, EA and LucasArts for a Star Wars Battlefront experience exclusively for PlayStation VR. The news was announced at GDC 2016 by Sony game chief Andrew House. There isn't currently that many details about the release, but VR related will keep you in the loop as it unfolds. Other announcements from Sony at this year's GDC with the specs for the consumer iteration of the PlayStation VR. The PSVR will boast a 5.7 inch OLED screen with 1920 by 1080 resolution split across both eyes. It will have 9 LEDs that let the PlayStation camera tell where people are even when the headset is turned away. Head to the description section to find a link for the full specs of the PSVR. The biggest and most anticipated news that came from Sony this year was the price and release date of the device. PSVR will be retailed at $399 US and £349 in the UK. This brings it substantially lower than its counterparts in the market, with the Oculus Rift retailing at $599 and the HTC Vive retailing at $799. This should open up the market quite significantly and could be a good play from Sony to widen the demographic for this new technology. So today I'm going to do another demonstration and I'm also going to show off a little bit of what we've been working on over the last month. So, In other news from the Games Developer Conference 2016, Unity Technologies, the makers of Unity, the cross-platform game engine responsible for over 90% of current VR content, has unveiled version 5.4 of Unity. Unity Technologies CEO John Ricciatello opened the presentation at GDC with the impressive fact that the free version of Unity now has more than 1.1 million monthly users, a number that happens to be larger than the total number of employees currently working for public gaming companies worldwide. The latest update for Unity features real-time global illumination, control over water, effects, smoke and a whole bunch more. One of the major points for VR was the new VR creation tools. Timoni West took to stage to demonstrate some of the cool looking new features in this release. Timoni demonstrated the tools by building a scene inside an Oculus Rift headset in front of the live audience. It looks like this tree is running into this house, so I can actually just pick it up right here and move it over. But honestly, whether or not you're making a VR game, this is actually just a really quick and efficient way to just play out a scene really, really fast. Add a couple more objects here. Get this little sign and put them over there. Ta-da! You got your scene. While we're on the subject of game engines, Crytek, the company behind CryEngine, has announced the release of CryEngine 5. According to Crytek, the new iteration of the platform will provide developers with the tools needed to create standout VR experiences for PlayStation VR, OS VR, HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Crytek has also created a benchmarking tool that can be used to test if your system is VR ready. The tool, or VR score, as is the name given by Crytek, is pitched as something that can be used by consumers to aid in making informed purchasing decisions. To that end, there are actually a few other similar resources from Steam and Oculus that you can use to check if your computer system is VR ready. Links to those in the description. For the HTC Vive at GDC 2016, it was all about the games. With the April 5th consumer release date just around the corner, the focus was most definitely on content. In fact, according to Chet Filizek, virtual reality evangelist at Valve, 50 developers already have HTC Vive store pages on Steam VR that could begin selling content today. With regard to HTC games, it's important to note that Valve currently has no hardware exclusives. There are games that will be initially exclusive to the Vive, but this is based on the current abilities of the hardware. When the Oculus Touch controllers are released, the games will no doubt be accessible across the platforms. In an interview with Fortune, Chet Falizek explained that Valve doesn't think it's good for the industry. Vive will also be giving away a trio of free games to early adopters, including Job Simulator, Fantastic Contraption and Google Tilt Brush, all of which come free with a purchase of the Vive. Moving over to Oculus, and again we witnessed a focus on some content. 
Oculus put out a showreel of 50 titles that we can be expecting to see on the platform as of the 28th of March. Some of the titles include Adrift, Eve Valkyrie, Radial G, Dead and Buried, Project Cars and a whole bunch more. Check out the link in the description section to find out more about these games. As always, thanks for checking in. Make sure you stay tuned for more VR related updates.